Hello everyone, welcome to the Criterion Connection, I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we're here doing the Joe Pick. Uh, Code Unknown, never heard of it. By Mikhail Hanukkah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for pronouncing it because you knew I was going to butcher it. I had to look <clears> it up. I, I just wanted to make sure, like, I I was like, the German's real rusty, but like, I just want to make sure I was right and I, and I looked it up. Yeah. Um, I so never... <clears throat> if, I, if I was wrong, I was misled. Yeah. So this is from 2000, 2001, around there. Um, I never heard of this film ever in my life. And I didn't, I didn't never even seen this in like the Criterion like shop or anything like that. So I'm like, it came <clears throat> out, uh, when I was working at the movie store. At the movie stop. At the movie stop. They're out of business. So we can say who they are. Um, RIP. Um, I just didn't <clears throat> want to give them any shine. Thanks, Wade. I like that place. Anyway, um, so this is a basically, it's French? It's a French movie. It's a French movie made by a German director. Um, he's not German, he's Austrian. <clears throat> you know what I mean. European. Uh, so, it follows... F- well, it's all European. Four people, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Mostly, honestly, mostly two, but they also follow uh, the actress... Mm-hmm. Uh, Played by Julia Binoche. Yes. She was in... Three Colors. That's it. <clears throat> I, I wanted to Blue. say Three Colors. Blue, yes. <clears throat> she was great in that, and uh, she's pretty good in this, too. Um, you have... Uh, God, I can't think of their names right now. The African-American character. Not African-American character, because it's British, but... Uh, Is it Marcus? No, that's not his name. It's like a- Amadou, I believe. Yes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the other character, Maria. That was the, um... Yeah, Maria is the Romanian yes. woman. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get this. Let me get this right. And, and George. <clears throat> yes. Who's, uh, um, Julia Binoche's, I think her character's Anna. Yes, Anna's her name. And, and it's her, like, husband, boyfriend. But yeah. And there's Jean. Jean. <clears throat> Jean, sorry. sorry. John George's Jean. brother. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, he's, uh... It says it <clears throat> follows him, but it really it do- doesn't. It, do- it doesn't. It <laughs> follows him on the street. <clears throat> for, like, he- he's only in it for, like, the first act, maybe two. He's the fire, he's the spark that starts the entire movie, to pretty much. <clears throat> sort of, For yeah. two characters, yeah. So, it- this movie is, like, a very... <laughs> In a way, it's like subdued, like Tarantino, where you have these different storylines that interconnect. Yeah. Um, That's kind of where that comparison ends. Uh, (laughs) Kyle Hanukkah is a much more talented filmmaker. Damn. Um, Because we saw Funny Games. Yes. Now it's one of his early outputs. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, thought that name sounded familiar, yeah. Yeah, and <clears throat> this movie <clears throat> is less kind of genre, uh, if you could say Funny Games is a genre movie. It's a horror thriller. This one's much more of, this is the life that these particular characters lead. And then like we have this one incident where they're all together. And then we kind of see their different lifestyles and how they kind of end up and where their perspectives are. Yeah. For each, you know, from, you know, just where they're coming from. Yes. Um, I really love the transitions and the editing. Um, it's a bit nonlinear in a, in a way, uh, and it'll throw you off, particularly with Anna's scenes. Yes. I was about to say Anna's like just because felt like they were thrown in there. <clears throat> she's an actress, <clears throat> and a lot of what what Hanukkah likes to do is when he cuts to her. You're so used to being in real life that you're getting thrown into the fiction of an audition, yes, or a rehearsal, <clears throat> or an ADR <clears throat> session. Like they they watch they watch the movie she's making, but it's like not scenes you would have known about prior to when they get to a point where you realize that it's part of the movie yeah. that she's making. Um, and 
you know, George is a, he's a photographer, particularly a war zone photographer. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly where, I think he said he was in Kabul, Sounds but I'm familiar. not, I'm not sure if that's the case. But then he also comes back to Paris and he like sneaky, like takes pictures of people on the subway for, I guess, an art exhibit or something. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, Amadou, <clears throat> he's a uh, son of a couple Mali immigrants um, with a big family. They don't have a lot of money, but they deal with like discrimination. Oh, yeah. Uh, the father ends up leaving at one point. Um, and he like, he's a very community oriented person. Very much. You got to do the right thing. <clears throat> that one scene with the uh, Jean and, uh, basically everyone's in the shot. <clears throat> everyone's yeah. in the, in the scene is when he throw when Jean throws the trash at Maria and he's like, what? You got to apologize. And they start having this awkward fight. Yeah. <clears throat> it felt like a real fight. And that's why I like to praise about it. Is like sometimes fights seem choreographed or whatever. There were awkwardness, like slaps, there were awkward, like whole. Like it felt like a yeah. real fight. Yeah, and that's <clears> one on thing. Uh, like, and how the you, cops show you up. You will have those fights that are like more quote unquote cinematic. Yeah. But this one, like, as in like a lot live. of real fights, it's super awkward and like not flattering and just weird. <clears> like, and, then, and the cops show up and they don't. They only go after the, the non-white people. Yeah. So. <clears throat> well, the the Romanian woman who's homeless. Yeah. Uh, turns out she's an illegal immigrant. Yes. Um, and and they deport her. The 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 Mali guy, um, Amadou. Amadou, like they just, they know he created the scene. So it's kind of like. It, it's part discrimination and part like he's the one creating the scene standing up for this woman whereas every other person in the scene is just gonna look the other way and that's just kind of how they treat <clears throat> the home like that's it's so many dynamics being played right there. and it can still play to today yeah there's a lot of things today that really mimic that mirror this <clears throat> there's a great scene where uh, Maria gets sent back to her home country and <clears throat> it's just dusty and the sand is blowing but then there's that shot of her just standing there with the dust and the sand blowing against her and <clears throat> it's a really great shot and then she hugs um i believe it was was it dragos yes her husband <clears throat> uh and they have this long it's like they keep the camera on them and it, it really works and it seems like she's happier there. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out why she keeps going to France. They don't ever talk about that motivation. I, yeah. I guess it's implied, but I didn't catch it. Yeah. So somebody please correct me. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's one of those things like in Three Colors where uh, the, the guy left his home country to come to Paris with his girlfriend and start a barber business and all that like i don't know if it's something like that like she's coming to france for opportunity oh, yeah, that movie. but i don't know <clears throat> um it, it 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 didn't really i didn't really catch on to it because she, she's not happy in paris yes she's homeless she's homeless <laughs> she gets treated like how she recalls to one character how she treated a uh, gypsy woman as she said and I don't know, like, why she's in France. Like, why does she keep going if she hates it? Yeah. She seems so much happier in Romania. I want to know why. Better opportunity? I don't know. <clears throat> but it's ever said. So somebody yeah. please tell me. Yeah. Um. And yeah, and John, like, he wants to leave the farm that his father tends and he just kind of bides his time until he runs away and little shit yeah i mean he's just bye arguably <clears throat> just like his brother yeah bye see ya go go yeah and then his you know father kind of overreacts like 
Just weird stuff. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how I feel about this movie. This is uh, this is review unknown right here because I don't because I don't know. <clears throat> there's things I really like, and there's things that are just like, like there's there's certain things that kept me engaged. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mostly the Amadou and um, the Maria stuff. I could care less about the other characters. I like the honest <clears throat> stuff too. Uh the honest stuff's good if like I like the how it was filmed, but I don't particularly like her. I like that they, they tried something different with her, but I just don't like the character as much. I <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I'm kinda with you. Like I don't I don't love this movie. Yeah. I, I it's technically <clears throat> great. Like, it's done with incredible oh, technical yeah. precision. <clears throat> yes. And he obviously knows what he's doing. Uh, but as a film, as a group of stories, they're not super engaging. They're very... The stories are very uneven. And yeah. how much you're engaged with it. <clears throat> yeah. Like, and... I mean, it's not as bad as, like, Slacker, where you're just not engaged with any of these characters. Except for movies two. Um, well, and that's the thing, like, but it's it, also it, not Pulp Fiction where you're engaged with a lot of them. Yeah, it's not like because Slacker moves from character to character yes. and never really revisits anybody. Oh no, no, no! This no. one revisits people yes. over and over again. Yeah, but yeah, if we're gonna ca- compare like uh, three colors we were talking about earlier, um, mm-hmm. if you compare it as a movie, as the, the three movies as one movie, it's similar to this where like the white you don't really care about, blues engaging enough but it's not but red was so much more better with the character like, you know i think that's what we're trying to say like it's some are great some of them are just blah um yeah like it, it the flow was not i get where they're trying to go with the flow but and it, it's certainly it, not my favorite movie by this director yes um so i mean if we're gonna go into the buy stream skip deal um I'll say, I'll say it's a sh- stream. Just it's a weak stream, you know. Like it, it I would. It's, it's, it's almost like the the stream is blocked. It's a yeah, weak like stream. like if if you told me like I'm gonna skip it, I'm gonna say all right, <clears throat> yeah, I get well, it. Well, Joe, I'm gonna say, but, but for me, like it's worth watching once, and and there's so many really cool kind of transitions. That I super uh, apologize, my film went off. <laughs> I super enjoyed, you know, seeing some of the technical stuff that he pulled off. But yeah, it it's not a hearty like you guys gotta watch it once. It's like yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> me personally, I say skip. Okay. I really was not. See, like I can't <clears throat> I even. I really disagree. wasn't. I really wasn't digging it. Um. Just really wasn't digging it at all. It's not a bad movie. Now, here's the thing. And we get this in the comment section a lot. I just want to say, movies can be okay. And this is the problem with a lot of movie reviews. It's either got to be amazing or fucking awful. Yeah. This was fine. If you want to watch it's, it. it's Our, our obti- opinions are subjective. Yeah. Uh, or objective, whichever. Um, subjective. Subjective, okay. Um, it's subjective to where, like... You might love the movie, and I understand if you do. There's things I can see where people love it. Me, personally, I was just not... There was things that kept me going. Th- little scenes that was like, okay, I'm back in, I'm back in, but then they just draw me out again. And, it just, and then it cuts <clears> to another character. Yeah, and then, and then it gets... Then then you get to the two-hour mark, and it's over, and you're like, oh, okay. And you realize, yeah. okay, I liked maybe a total of ten minutes of it. And I think... I think part of it is that i mean it it tells you in the beginning that it's these are a bunch of like wandering like kind of stories they're not it's not really going to be a conclusive resolution at the end of the film and while i respect that i think certain plot lines being resolved would have helped yes you know what i mean yes yeah, I, 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 it doesn't have to wrap up in a nice, neat bow, but like some, some, some something, finality. something for certain characters at least. Yeah. So, like Jean, that doesn't, that doesn't need a conclusion, right? 
<clears throat> but maybe Maria could have a well, work better I wouldn't have mind seeing him. where Jean was. That's true. You know, just one clip, <clears throat> like, because they do that, like, that last part at, at the end of the movie where they do, like, a quick wrap-up of most of the characters. Like, you follow George, you follow the father, you follow Anna and Maria. Um, but, like, Jean's not there. Yeah. I think the last shot we see of Maria, like, uh, she sits down by the shop, two guys come over and kind of intimidate her to leave, and she's walking down the street looking really worried. And that's it. And, like, maybe seeing how that ended up yeah. would have been, you know, something. It just, it just... Or seeing where Jean was. Like, certain stories, I think, could have been wrapped up like i do like i i wouldn't change anna and george's story where she goes into the apartment and after that fine. horrible subway ride if she goes up into the apartment and then he comes home and can't get in like i love that but like i'd try and wrap up some of the other ones yes i agree all right, so that's our thoughts on uh, Code Unknown. You mm-hmm. said uh, stream it. I said skip it. But I could. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go against streaming it. I'm I not gonna per- go against skipping. <clears throat> My personal taste was skip. Um, so let us know in the comment section below uh, what you think about this movie. I'm interested because this is a movie. I'm just. It's it's kind of a enigma to me of like how I feel about it. Very like. It's very a passing kind of movie. Like, oh, I passed it. I probably won't ever watch it again. Yeah. And I'll probably forget about it in a week. I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below. Make suggestions because we're, we're coming into the new year. We'll take more suggestions to hold us over for the rest of the year. Um, so, yeah. Comment, subscribe, share. Thank you all for... We're getting subscribers like a lot every week. So, yeah. <clears throat> thank you. I've seen like gradually it's growing. So, thank you. So, keep on sharing it. Um... Any suggestions on where we can make this bigger? You know, ideas. Because the new year, you know, we're going to try getting more equipment, new equipment, stuff like that. So, let us know in the comment section. And um, until next time, I'm Wade. And I'm still Joe. And we will see you later.